it is 618 and we were at the Sabbath day pond lean to last night it's been a while since we've been in a shelter with a all-star snorer when we were last night and it didn't help that out of nowhere almost 2,000 miles in and all of a sudden my right knee on the outside of it <clears throat> it felt like somebody had injected liquid fire into my veins and it was going down the outside of my knee it was actually making me because every six to seven seconds it would like pulse and it was making me actually jump so I got up about 12 o'clock finally hold on I'm on a nice cruising section for about 10 minutes as soon as I grab my phone it just goes straight up I wonder if it's going to do it again here in a second but yeah I get up and put some CBD on it about midnight and I it must took a while to work or whatever but um, I eventually went to sleep and I woke up about 445 and I can still feel the outside of my knee like but it's not as severe as it was last night oh sorry we've been going up ever since we got on trail this morning I thought we we're at the top Kind of looks like it a little bit a little break for a second and I so yeah and the loons last night were going nuts on the pond I uh, hadn't heard her loons in a long time so even though it was the middle of the night I enjoyed the heck out of it I love hearing the loons and then uh, we had a couple hikers come in at 11 o'clock of course full lights blaring Walked up behind the shelter and somehow pitched two tents behind, right behind the shelter. I had to listen to them for half an hour getting tents put up and get into bed. I don't like those people who hike till 11, 12 o'clock and then come into a shelter. Hike till 11, 12 o'clock all you want. Find yourself a freaking stealth site and stay away from other people that are trying to sleep. <laughs> Even though I wasn't asleep. Either way. If you're gonna hike all night long, stay away from shelters. So, all right, now of course I'm going straight down. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I better wrap this up. <laughs> I was just being so happy how cruisy it was this morning. And it changed just like that, to right back to normal. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So anyway, 9.4 this morning. And uh, we're gonna try to call up here in a minute. And, Try to get a bunk at the Texas, not Texas, again, the main roadhouse. Uh, right now I do have a, a couple of bunks booked at the hiker hut, but they have absolutely, they're completely off grid and they have no services. I mean, hiker type services. You know, no, can't charge anything. No Wi-Fi, no, no cellular. There's nothing that, you know, we get, and we always have a lot of stuff to get done on those days. So... I knew they had, um, they are off-grid, and they had solar power, but they don't provide any electricity to hikers. So, and I hear the guy's a great guy and everything, but if you're going to do anything for hikers, it's almost number one on the list. you got to have power. Anyway, back uphill again. Oh, it's starting to level out. So, there's a campground up here. I've been told it has cell service in that area, so I am going to try to call the roadhouse and see if they'll come pick us up if they have any room. So I'll talk to everybody later. Everybody have a good day. And we are still heading north. As Soon as I put the camera away, it goes back to being cruisy again. How does a... How does the trail know that I'm trying to talk? I don't get it. It amazes me. All the mushrooms that are everywhere around here. Of 
course I always put the camera out and the mushrooms dry up. But yeah, the forest is full of them. A bunch over here. More over there. Kind of convenient, right on trail. Only seen that twice, second time I've seen that. It's pretty awesome. Good work, Maine. Seen a lot of this in this little last bit of section that they've done a lot of trail work here. Makes a big difference, I can tell you that. So, thanks to the Maine Appalachian Trail Club doing some good trail work almost at main four getting really close here the vehicles down there it's 1040 right now so should be there in the next five minutes or so and you need to wait for an hour or so to get picked up by the main roadhouse Coming out to main four. Sabbath day pond lean to is where I just came from. 13.1 back to 17. Wow. 